Um, I think it will probably hold for the time being. Um, I mean, it's a bit sort of peace in our time sort of uh, uh, analogies here that it's a fairly uh, limited and it's a fairly shaky deal. And I think it underscores uh, a lot of the insecurities that the United States has, perhaps a reaction to some of the problems with the European deal. This one's time limited. The European truce was not. Uh, and the Americans have been very upset that, that there's not been more progress yep. with Europe. So I think it's reflecting a lot of these issues. At, at the end of the day, um, the full cost of taxes on trade has not yet hit the US economy. Right. So I think by having a truce, it gives time for the, the existing tax increases to start to be felt. Right. And that then perhaps prompts the US administration into um, uh, coming up with a longer term deal. Why do we have a truce? Who, who has the most to gain from a truce? Well, uh, I think to some extent, um, actually, it's, it's the United States has the most to gain because what we've seen, of course, is that the trade taxes have done enormous damage to equity markets in the last couple of months. I think it's the main reason for the equity correction has been uh, the, the position on trade taxation. And, you know, the Chinese equity markets don't matter that much to the Chinese economy. The US equity markets are a little more significant and politically yeah. they appear to matter a great deal more to the US president. Um, and as I said, with the, with the impact of uh, the trade taxes starting to become more visible to the yeah. consumer after the end of the year in the States, the political heat probably goes up on the US president at that point. Okay, but does it make you feel, we have concerns about the Chinese economy. So they've said it very well where when it comes to politics, China is set up to be able to play ball or to go to war longer, considering they don't have to worry about re-election. And as they mentioned, their economy can just basically be uh, not tied to their stock market. So even though their stock market right now is getting crushed and was overvalued, uh, it's still not uh, going to stop China from producing, manufacturing, and being able to uh, sell things all across the world. So it is interesting that this trade truce is really beneficial for the U.S. And uh, obviously uh, it's been kicked, they kicked the can down the road. So we're going to see what happens long term. But I do feel like it's all just a, a paper tiger. And if you've been following my channel, I've been saying that it's most likely going to just be uh, the pretty much the same deal, maybe a couple of things different. But at the end of the day, just to look like it, it, it's like the NAFTA where they uh, promise to uh, renegotiate deals and now this new NAFTA that uh, Trump wants to put into office it's pretty much the same and doesn't really protect workers like he promised so uh, I feel like the same thing is going to happen with China but let me know your thoughts on this and what you guys think and I will talk to you soon